Okay, so the first color I'm going to be using is Raw Sienna in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance Palette. And I'm just going to be placing that above my crease. And I'm going to be using this color as a transition color. Next, I'm going to be using this light pink shade out of um, a palette that I ordered off of Amazon. I do not remember the name of it, but whatever light pink color that you got, you can use. And I'm just placing it above my crease as well. Next, I'm going to be using the color Love Letter. And I'm going to be placing that inside my crease. The next color I'm going to be using is Venerian Red. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm just going to be placing it on my outer corner. And I'm going to be placing it inside my inner corner as well. The next color I'm going to be using is red ochre. And I'm just going to be placing that in my outer and in my inner crease as well. And as you can see, I use one brush for all those shadows I just applied. I'm not a big brush switcher. I think it's unnecessary to use a million brushes unless you really need to. The most brushes I will use on my eyes, one or two, three at the most. And I'm just going to be blending these out. Blend it out, ladies. Make sure you have no harsh lines. And the next color I'm going to be using is this bright pink. And I'm going to be placing that above my crease just to smoke it out and make it pinky and I did wipe my brush off a little bit before I put my brush inside that pink color and smoked it out so next I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Long Concealer in the color NC42 and this, is what I, and this is what I like to use to cut my crease. I just like to outline it first. It's just like making a big wing. You keep going in until you make it as sharp and clean as you want it and you get the desired shape that you want. And if you got little eyes like me, you'll probably want to draw it a little, exaggerate it a little bit. If that's what you like, you don't have to. And you just flick it out at the end, just make a nice wing. It's kind of like doing wing eyeliner. I find that doing a cut crease this way is so much easier for me. And once you outline it and get the shape that you want, you go and you fill it in. Like so. So once you're done with the concealer, you want to go in with a flat brush and just pat that concealer in just to make sure it's nice and smooth. 
you want to pat it not rub it next I'm going to go in with the color Vermeer I'm just going to be patting that on my lid make sure you want to get very close to that line ladies So next I'm going to be going in with a flat brush and I'm going to be using the color Red Ochre just to define it a little more. Make that cut crease pop. So next I'm going to be going in with my liner and I like to do my liner the same way I do my cut crease and I like to outline it first and then I like to fill it in. I do my eyeliner way better this way because I used to have the hardest time doing eyeliner like it's really the hardest thing but once you, but once you get the hang of it like you want to do it every day. So ladies try it this way and let me know if it works for you because it works for me and I know a lot of people have problems doing wing liner and this is the way that helped me so let me know if it helps you. Next I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Long Concealer in the color NC45. I just like to place this everywhere I have this coloration. I like to do this instead of color correcting it's just my preference. And after I place it everywhere I want to place it, I go in with a buffing brush just to buff it in. And the lashes I will be using is, uh, is the Ardell Double Up Lashes and the number 204. Next, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail, my MAC Charred Water. And I just like to spray this on my face before I apply my foundation. And the foundation I will be using is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the color NC45. And I love this foundation, you guys. Like, as soon as you put it on, this shit covers everything. And I have used a lot of foundations that claim that they're full coverage and when I put it on, it's not covering nothing. But when I put this foundation on, it covers everything. So if you're somebody that's looking for a full coverage foundation, I will highly recommend this one. And if you get this lady, let me know if it works, if it covers, because it works wonders for me. So let me know in the comments. And I like to buff my foundation in. I don't like to rub or wipe. I like to buff my foundation in. And then I like to go in with a beauty blender after. Just to make sure I blend everything in. And I used to use a beauty blender first all the time. But I find that the beauty blender takes away some of your coverage. So if you're a person that likes full coverage like I do. You want to go in with a brush first. And the concealer I will be using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And the color I'm using is Biscuit. 
And when I'm doing my highlight, I like to go up under my wing with the concealer to sharpen that wing. As you can see, that I'm sharpening, you can see the difference. So that's my little trick I do to make my wing nice and sharp to cut a bitch. Yeah. And I like to go in again with my charge water before I blend my concealer out. And I'm just going in with a BH Cosmetics, a BH Cosmetics little buffing brush. If you like full coverage, go in with a brush first, ladies, and then a beauty blender. Because the beauty blender really takes away that coverage. That's the thing I hate about the Beauty Blender is that it takes away the coverage, but then the thing about the Beauty Blender that I love is that it is that it blends everything out. So next I'm going to be using my black opal in the color Beautiful Bronze. And I'm just going to be contouring my nose. I'm doing them cheekbones, you know my face like fat as fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna be blending my contour out with the beauty blender. Blend, ladies, blend. And if you feel like the beauty blender is not blending out your cream contour good enough, you can always go in with a brush like I'm doing. I just like to make sure everything is nice and blended out. So next I'm going to set that highlight with my Laura Mercier setting powder. And ladies, if you have not tried this powder, please go out and get it. I love this powder. This probably is about my second time using it. So next I'm going to be going in with my MAC Mineralized Powder in the color Dark. And I'm just going to be using it to set my foundation so you know it can stay in place. Just know I want my shit going nowhere. So next, I'm gonna be using my Alta Contour Kit, and I'm gonna be using the color uh, Golden Bronze, I believe. And I'm just gonna be using that to set my cream contour. You know, blend that out, ladies. Y'all see how hard I'm blending? Like, yes, blend till your arm is tired. I'm just putting it in my temples, underneath my chin, on my jawline, down my nose, you know. And instead of getting a new fucking brush, I'm just going to use that one and pinch that bitch and I'm just going to contour. You know, and nose is snatched. So now I'm just wiping away that powder. The big fluffy real technique, real techniques brush. You see, and I just love that part. I'm not ashy at all. So 
from now, I'm just going to be applying my mascara to my top and lower lashes. So now I'm just going in with a flat brush and I'm just using the color red ochre mixed with a little bit of love letter and I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash a little bit. So next I'm going to be applying my blush. And you can just use a nice pink blush because I do not know what happened to the clip but you can just use a nice Blush. This blush I'm using is out of my BH Cosmetics palette. And the highlight I will be using is my favorite glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the color I will be using is Bubbly. And just look at that glow. Like, yes. I be seeing so many people saying like they don't know what's the hype about this palette. But as you can see, what's the hype? That glow. Just like to put it down my nose. See, look at that glow, like, that's what the hype is. And I love to put it under my brow bone. Just make my eyebrows more popping. And I'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial separately. That's why I did my eyebrows off camera, because I want to make a video only for my eyebrows. So next, I'm just going to be... One in with my liquid liner again just to make sure I'm disguising that band. Next, I'm going to be using my NYX lip pencil in the color natural. And a lipstick I will be going over it with is my MAC lipstick in the color Cherish. And the gloss I will be going in with is MAC as well. And the color is Oyster Girl. And this is the final look, ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It is my very first. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, share. And if you want to see more of me, please subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.